What's going on, Yu-Gi-Oh! fans? Platinum Cards in the house, and today I'm going to be coming to you with my Cyber Dragon deck profile. Now, just before we get started, of course, if you see, if you like what you see, don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. And this version of my Cyber Dragon deck is going to be like, um, I didn't want to have a deck that I use Cyber Darks in. I'm probably going to be doing that as a different profile. So this one is more of like a pure Cyber Dragon build. Um, but I will be coming probably in the future with a Cyber Dark build so without further ado let's just go ahead and get into it guys so starting off i play a play set of cyber dragon of course this is the main monster of the uh deck so you're gonna have to play three of them um bring me back to the gx days that's for sure this is fat throwback i love this deck just because it's one of my personal favorites from back in those days. Uh, next, I like to play a play set of Cyber Dragon Core. Cyber Dragon Core, super dope card. Its effect is when this card is normal summon, you can add one Cyber Spell slash Trap from your deck to your hand. If your opponent, if only your opponent controls a monster, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Special summon one Cyber Dragon monster from your deck. You can uh, only use one Cyber Dragon Core effect per turn and only once that turn. So great card being able to search, plus being, honestly, both ways being able to search, but uh, it is a great card and I would definitely recommend you play this at three uh next i like to play a play set of cyber dragon hers cyber dragon hers is also a super dope card uh it's effective this card becomes cyber dragon while on the field or in the graveyard you can only use one of the following effects of cyber dragon hers uh once per turn and only once that turn at one if this card is special summoned you can make that card's level become five until the end of this turn also you cannot special summon monsters for this turn except machine monsters so that really really helps when going into your cyber dragon infinity and secondly if this card is sent to the graveyard you can add one other cyber dragon from your deck or graveyard to hand so great searcher as well all right so moving forward i also like to play two copies of nashter and this one might be a little bit controversial but i don't see too many people playing this but i like to play one copy of veer um so nashter's effect is this card's name becomes cyber dragon while on the field or in the graveyard you can discard one other monster to special summon this card from your hand so easy special summon uh if this card is no more special summon you can target one machine monster with 2100 attack or defense in your graveyard special summon it also you cannot special summon monsters with the rest of the turn except machine monsters so good to know and then secondly this uh Veer's effect is that this card's name becomes Cyber Dragon while on the field or in the graveyard. If you normal or special summon Cyber Dragon, except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position. You can only use uh, this effect of Cyber Dragon Veer once per turn. Each uh, Cyber Dragon you control gets 500 attack. Basically, I'm playing around with this because, um, well, it becomes Cyber Dragon, plus it lets you special uh, normal or spe um, you can special summon this card from your hand defense position. So it gives you an extra body. So if you feel like this isn't really the best for you, I can completely see you taking that out. But that's just uh, something I'm experimenting with for now. Uh, next, another card I feel like maybe I'm playing around with a bit is Cyber El Tannen. Now, this card is super dope. It cannot be normal summon slash set. Must be special summoned from your hand by banishing all light machine type monsters from your side of the field. And your graveyard cannot be special summoned by other ways. This card's attack and defense becomes uh, the number of monsters banished for its special summon times 500. If this card is special summoned, send all face up monsters on the field to the graveyard. So um, you could switch this out for Rageki if you really wanted to. But honestly, I like to use it for... Um, I like to switch it out once in a while for Cybernetic Overflow. This is normally what I'd play. Uh, but once in a while, I like to... Uh, mess around with cyber el tannin um and so next i like to play one copy of dinosaur slur panker tops that's just for annoying monster removal and then i like to play two copies of galaxy soldier this is easy special summon plus it helps you get into your honestly what i consider the boss monster of the archetype your cyber dragon infinity um next are the hand traps so uh these obviously you can switch out for whatever you see fit uh i like to play three copies of ash blossom three copies of DD Crow, and two copies of Ghost Bell. Now, like I said before, you can switch these out for anything that you feel like is better in that situation. And of course, we're going to be playing Infinite Permanents and stuff, um, but we'll be looking into that as we get into the traps. So next are these spell cards. So for the spells, I like to play three copies of Cyber Emergency. It lets you add one Light Machine monster uh, that cannot be normal summon set, or one Cyber Dragon monster from your deck to your hand. Uh, if the activation of this card in its owner's position was negated by your opponent's card effect and sent to your graveyard, you can activate, you can uh, discard one card, add this card to your hand. So it's a really, really good card for this archetype. And I definitely think this should be run at, at two. Uh, next, I play two copies of Machine Dupe. Now, I'm probably going to be bumping this up to three. Uh, I would definitely recommend that you do it at three, but I'm, I'm just figuring out. Uh, basically, I'm, I'm trying to... Um, 
one just let you know that hey there are options and whatnot for this deck you know at the same time and and just let you know what type of cards that can be used you know so personally i would bump this up to three so um you can target one machine monster you control with 500 or less attack special summon up to two monsters uh from your deck with the same name as that face up monster so really really good card because uh, a lot of your cards counter cyber dragon so you can pop off um pretty crazy combos there and then for some of the fusion cards i like to play two copies of cyber load fusion cyber load fusion lets you fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck that lists the cyber dragon monster as material by shuffling the fusion materials listed on it into the deck from among your cards on the field and or uh your face up banished cards but monsters you control cannot attack for the rest of this turn except that fusion summon monster you you can only activate one cyber load fusion per turn uh pretty good card honestly because it works really really well um and, and being able to recycle your banished cards and a lot of your, the cards that are in this deck they they do banish like we were looking at uh cyber l10 and this thing works pretty well with that and there's, there's a couple other cards that work pretty well with it as well and i'll just play two copies of overload fusion remove from play from your side of the field or your graveyard fusion material uh, material monsters that are listed on dark machine type fusion card then uh, special summon one fusion monster from fusion deck this uh, special summon is treated as a fusion summon so works really nice with that too next i like to play one copy of cyber repair plant one copy of cyber rev system so those are both good in their own right and i probably would play one and one of each uh lastly i like to play two copies of dark blue no more this is just to get uh, um some of your opponent's more annoying cards effects um uh, out of the way and then for the traps i like to play three copies of infinite permanence and then once in a while like i said earlier i will play cybernetic overflow that is a really really good card honestly i would definitely recommend if you can get it in here definitely i would recommend picking it up additionally you can also play things like cyber dragon dre uh jizakiru limiter removal etc etc but uh let's just go ahead and move on to the extra deck so uh moving forward to the extra deck so let's start off with the xc's monsters so to begin i like to play two copies of cyber dragon nova and that's going to help us get into our cyber dragon infinity this is my favorite monster this entire archetype the amount of times i've been able to shut someone down with this card is insane and i would definitely recommend that you at least play one if not two two is my uh recommended but if you are going to be playing it uh, at least at least you gotta play one uh, and since we're running xc's um i'm gonna run divine arsenal double a zeus of course uh then moving forward to the fusion monsters so for the fusion monsters i like to play two copies of chimera tech rampage dragon uh this card is really really good it just takes two plus cyber dragon monsters all fusion summon a fusion summon of this card can only be done with the above fusion materials when this fusion sum when this card is fusion summoned you can target spells slash traps on the field up to the number of fusion materials used for summon destroy them once per turn, you can send up to two light machine monsters from your deck to the graveyard. And if you do each monster um, that's sent to the graveyard, this card gains one additional attack. So insane amount um, of battle damage that you can do and just chip away at your opponent. Plus, you have some really good destruction there. Uh, next, I like to play two copies of Chimera Tech Overdragon. Uh, next, I like to play one copy each of Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon. Chimera Chess, Mega Fleet Dragon, Cyber Eternity Dragon, and one copy of Cyber End Dragon. And since I don't have Seeger, uh, normally I would play that, but additionally I got one more Link Monster, and I'm just playing this. It's just to avoid certain breaks and whatnot if you are uh, manage to get the level 1 out there. Uh, it's, it's, it's just good to get it out uh, get it out of the way sometimes, you know, Cyber Dragon Nasher. So, Anyways, guys, this is Platinum Ricard signing up for the day. If you like what you see, don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. And oh my goodness, look at the time. It's time to do